This is my dream, but only you can make it happen. So do not forget to subscribe. Please. Take care. Peace. Welcome, I'm sure also nice BC bottom, also nice Mr. Earphones, and welcome back to my channel. So I have watched Koti Gobba 3 and I'm here to give my review on it. Let's do it. On the outset, I thought it was a perfect sequel because it did mention that it's a sequel from Koti Gobba 2, which I have watched, and that was outstanding. I loved the movie. I've done a review on that as well. Link in the description below. Please do check it out. But having said that, yeah, I was expecting a perfect sequel, but no, there was a difference. The only factor which actually carried out from the second part to the third part was the factor that ACP Kishore is in jail because of Bacha and uh, yeah, that's the only connecting point if I'm not wrong. And is there anything else? Ah, no. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, Bacha's parents, uh, Prakash Rath's uh, being uh, another dad and stuff. Only only a very few connections were there, but otherwise, I should also say there was a connection in the beginning where Bacha begins to be this brat he was in the second half. I mean, the second part of Koti Gopa, okay? He starts off being this master of disguise, the, the cheeky Bacha, uh, the fight sequences, everything is like mass, mass, and uh, uh, whatever you expect of, you know, from uh, the character of Bacha, uh, Satya, Shiva, in this movie, you know, you get it in the first 15 to 20 minutes. And then what happens is the fact that, you know, it falls into a love story. There's a person called Madonna Sebastian Ma'am who enters, which kind of starts hitting me on the logic. There was Nitya Menon Ma'am in the first half, and how, what happened to her, where did she go? confusion that way that's where it started and that portion was like yeah we, we've seen many of those things and the way they falling in love was kind of a little uh, not okay for me because like it, it it just was happening it was almost like it was made to happen and it was not like actually happening that's what i thought because nitya men and ma'am the way she falls in love with bacha and that particular uh, chemistry between them was like super cute and super uh, amazing but this was more of like it was made to happen and there was this one particular scene which i felt was a template from the second part that's where you know there's the transformation scene where uh, Bacha becomes Shiva and heats up and there's a shock by Nitya Menon Ma'am in here. Uh, it's Madonna Sebastian Ma'am who's getting a shock. But we all get a shock when there's, there is indeed another Shiva. I'm giving a spoiler, I think. In fact, I'm giving the biggest spoiler. <laughs> but uh, just because the movie has come out very long, I feel it's okay to say that. Um, yeah, that shiva character plays this character called ghost and that is where the movie actually picks up like 45 to 50 minutes it was like first 15 20 as i said was like a uh, good pacey uh, sets it up and then there was this half another 40 minutes which was like kind of slow and uh, very very predictable things were happening and then when the character called ghost enters that's where again it sparks up and when this character called ACP Kishore and uh, uh, Bacha come together that is where the entire fun and the entire uh, movie starts to pick up and from there it was definitely a really good watch for me now keeping in mind I love the songs yeah I've read it almost all the songs links again in the description below but BGMs I don't know why I felt so am I the only one who felt so it was good but I don't know why, maybe because it is Koti Goba, I think I'm comparing 2 and 3 here. Uh, I felt Koti Goba 2 BGMs were better than this, maybe that's what I felt, okay? Because both, I, I watched both on my laptop only and uh, hence that was kind of was kind of holding me tight. But here, the BGMs were definitely good, but something was missing i don't know what was missing but i felt something was missing and uh, one of the biggest lapses what i personally felt was the cg works it was uh, probably uh, the problem of the budget that was allotted to the movie i don't know why they were they were very uh, not okay types of CG that could have been avoid could have been avoided because since uh, the new the movie kind of promises an international look certain CG works were very 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 uh, amateurish which I felt you know, you know a Bacha's movie won't have.
taking up my life, no walking your way, my way Ain't giving up on my kind of bae, yeah, nah, bae Doing it all alone, it's time I show you all my theremin The clock is ticking, I'm flipping and shaking, raging But damn, I'm living, I ain't a smoke a rip Ain't a drink a dream, don't for it Ain't a fake a rip, ain't a kind of a just a human head Ain't a top a rip, ain't a flop a mediocre rip Ain't a please a rip, ain't a tease a peace make a rip Ain't a pop a rip, ain't a flop a bill glass a rip Ain't a hip a rip, ain't a rude run talk a rip And I'm over the clear, I'm gonna you, I'm welcome to be my second name Me and the water, but I don't know what I mean to do now back to the show. Uh, especially with that one particular scene from the van, I mean, from the ambulance when Bacha pulls out uh, this little character called Janu. I'm going to talk about that character as well. Okay, that was very, very uh, amateurish. Is what I felt. I, I, I really, honestly feel it's something wrong with the production uh, team. There's nothing to do with the people who worked on it because I think when the production, when the value is not given, you know, things don't turn up the way it has to. Uh, that's pretty much business. So understandable. So this has to be taken up or this responsibility has to be taken up by the production team not on the makers okay one uh, yeah talking about bacha and his acting i love this character i especially love this bonding with this little girl called jano i love the girl jano's character as well and as i said bacha and ravi shankar sir it was lovely i mean uh everything was uh i don't know what exactly happened but uh, there were these highlighting scenes that's this pow 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 kind of scenes happening and suddenly there's a slow thing happening suddenly there's a lift there's a slow thing happening not something that i saw in koti gobatu because koti gobatu was like bang on i was like wow and especially i missed that one particular music which uh, kind of plays when bacha you know uh, pretends to be this innocent guy, okay? That one particular BGM, I think everybody will be knowing that, especially it comes in the climax as well when he's pretending again to Nazar sir. <clears throat> that BGM was something that I was missing. So, this had a good story. It it did end up in revenge. I have to say, yeah, the mother portion, I loved that mother portion. Abhinav Imam's character was like lovely. Uh, I loved all the dialogues, including the first one, which Badshah starts off with saying, you know, uh, two things I've learned in life. One is not to talk too much and second is not to, not to pay attention to people who talk too much. That dialogue was amazing and then there were loads of dialogues from Abhirami Ma'am which was lovely uh, and that mother song again was lovely. I'm telling you KFI and mother sentiment are like <clears throat> you just can't separate them. Touch wood, touch wood, KFI scores every single time. Okay so yeah it was a good watch it was definitely a good watch but if you ask me uh is it koti goba 2 or 3 i will go for koti goba 2 uh, i loved it it was crazy crazy it was wow though it was very it, it was carried out in a local scenario everything was like spot on but this uh being international it demanded a few things which i felt somewhere it kind of lapsed and i also was not very uh, uh, satisfied with the villains chosen especially that first character called bashir bai or probably the other characters as well the villains or the cops i felt somewhere they were not uh, up to the mark to the demand given to them okay i don't know i might i'm very very um, uh, young or i'm not very experienced to say this but from what i've watched in kfi i felt these characters or their acting was a little not up to the projection they were given so that's where i felt it felt that's where i felt it fell a little short but otherwise it's a good watch it's a neat watch but as i said kotiko got two or three it's two for me okay special mention i loved that water action sequence okay in the end where the ghost and the villain kind of fight i love that particular sequence all those water splashing from different directions and bacha going in slow-mo doing all that was like wow that was one definite highlight of the movie and having said that yeah this is my review on koti gumba 3 let me know if i was right or wrong and these are the other updates i've reacted to and having said that vikram throna is on the way i think bacha is gonna i I'm, I'm telling you whatever cg fell short here i think vikram throna is gonna take 10 folds back and uh, you know it's gonna make up for it big time is what i would say and in this video thank you so much for watching and as i said i will catch you very soon do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned and also most importantly do not forget to comment because i'm giving a shout out every single day and yeah 
I will catch you very soon in another video. Until then, this is Shwab signing off. Take care and peace.